Hi there. Do you have trouble writing an interesting short story in 45 minutes? Do you start writing and then end up stuck for a while because you don't know what else to write? This can be fixed with a good short story plan and in this video I'll show you how to do that. This is one of the stories from the May 2021 paper too. I will use this one to explain how to plan so it goes Kate stepped into the room and everyone immediately began to cheer. She knew this was the greatest feeling she would ever experience. Write a story which includes these sentences. Now even CSEC understands that it is very important to make a plan because you can see that I've underlined here that you're actually given a page just to jot down your plan of your points and to make notes and this will not be marked. So remember, you can plan, you can write, scribble all over it, that part will not be um, marked. Your suggested time for this essay is 45 minutes, and I suggest breaking it down. Use 10 minutes to write your plan, and then 35 minutes to write your story. Now you may think that 10 minutes is too much time, but it will actually save you a lot in the long run. Do not proceed without a plan. It is dangerous. So again, I am emphasizing that you should take 10 minutes to plan. No more than 10 minutes, okay? But if you're able to write your plan in less time, then by all means do so. And as Napoleon Hill says, first comes thought, then organization of that thought into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning as you observe is in your imagination. So what we want to do is to get that imagination and to organize it on paper so that we can write a good story. So the first thing that I would do is draw a cloud, but you can have a different method of organization, right? So I'm going to scribble my cloud and write all my ideas around it. What could Kate have possibly done that would cause people to cheer for her? So anything that comes to my mind, I'm going to write it down. So I thought of Kate's birthday, Kate won a race, CXC, she passed all her subjects, she did something heroic, she got married, she caught a thief, Somebody surprised her. She solves a crime. Now what I'm going to do next is eliminate the very common ideas. You don't want to be basic. You want to think outside of the box. Everybody is going to be writing about Kate's birthday. So when your marker receives your, your story and it's the same thing as everybody else's, you may lose a few marks for creativity there. So use your imagination, okay? Let's forget about Kate's birthday. Kate won a race. That's too common as well. The CXC thing is also a little too common. I would even eliminate the wedding, right? Then I'm going to choose what I prefer to write about. So in this situation, I chose did something heroic. Now you see all of this scribbling that I did right here. That can only that should only take you about a minute or two, right? It's just anything that comes to your head. You get it on the paper. Then I'm going to do another cloud. I've chosen to go with, she did something heroic, but what? So then you write all your ideas again. What could she have done? So I'm going to say maybe Kate, and I'm going to give her personality as well. So Kate is a lonely girl with no friends. She's a babysitter of two spoiled rich children. And one day they decide to go on a yacht for a day, you know, because the parents are rich. The little boy jumps into the sea. He can't swim. No one else can swim. Kate saves the boy. No one seems thankful. But then they decide to surprise her and she becomes famous. Right? So your ideas at the time might be completely random. I try to do this in a natural environment while timing myself. Now, I understand that I'm a teacher. Maybe I have an unfair advantage, but I believe that you can do the same. So you just scribble as you think. Next. So we're not stopping there, right? I'm sure that you may have heard of this plot diagram before. And we know that a, a good story would usually have five main parts. So you have the exposition, which is 
the introduction, your rising action, your climax, your falling action, and your conclusion. And just a reminder of what those parts are. In your exposition, this is where the characters and setting are introduced. Who is in your story? Where is that story taking place? Rising action, where the main character faces a series of conflicts. Climax, the most exciting part of the story. Falling action, events leading to the end of the story. And then you have your conclusion, which is leading you to the end of the story, which is the end of the story. Now, CXC, your English A story markers, are going to be checking whether or not your story is organized. And later I will post a video about the mark scheme so that you can understand how you are going to be marked for this. Now, if you are a really, really good writer and you like to experiment, and not use this um, sort of organization um, idea, um, then it is still a bit risky. So I would say to, to just stick to this plan for a while. So now I'm going to take my story about Kit and put it here. So you've drawn your cloud. Now you draw a triangle here and let's see how we can map it out. So where characters and setting are introduced, Kate is a babysitter, she's from a poor family, she's lonely. Then in my rising action, where that main character, Kit, faces a series of conflicts. So she's going on the yacht for a day, the children are misbehaving while the parents ignore. So already that tension is building up. Climax, the most exciting part of the story, that silly boy falls into the sea, he starts drowning, and Kit saves him. What leads to the end of the story? Kit feels ignored, but the family decides to surprise her. And then in the end, she becomes well-known, and now everybody wants to be her friend. So you only have to write one sentence the, for each one. It doesn't even have to be you know grammatical just write points so that you know what's happening first second third fourth fifth right so before you begin writing you know exactly what you're going to write and this will stop you from having to freeze in the middle of your writing sometimes you can end up doing this and not write anything for five minutes and before you know it the time is up and you have not written a good essay so We've done this in 10 minutes, then we're going to write for 35 minutes. You look at your plan and you just write, write, write. And don't forget to proofread when you finish. So this is what our story looks like. Um, I've written it just to show you, to, to give you an idea. Um, this is a little over the word limit. You only have to write between 400 and 450 words, um, but I just wanted to show you the organization. So we're going to read it and then you will let me know what you think. So always remember that you should start your, you should have a title for your story, okay? And don't forget to have paragraphs and to indent. So it begins, kids, wake up. You're going to be late. The Jacobs will be here any minute. Kid groaned and rolled out of bed. It was a perfect Saturday, but Kate's mood was far from perfect. She did not look forward to the day's events at all. She went to the kitchen and grabbed the last loaf of bread. It was all they could afford these days. Thank you for getting this extra job to help out. I really appreciate you, her mother remarked. Kate sighed. Hey, what are you sad about? It's not like you have friends to hang out with anyway, her brother laughed. Kid would have hit him on his shiny bald head if she had not heard a car tooting its horns outside. So here I have introduced the setting, I've introduced the main character. You already know that she is not well off, she is poor, she had to get an extra job to help her mother. And I let you know what's coming later. She's going to, she's going somewhere but we don't know where yet. Now, if you are not sure about how to write an introduction, you can check out my video on how to write an exciting introduction. We want to avoid introductions like one sunny day Kate woke up and she went on a boat. It's really boring, okay? 
So you can check out that video. Let's continue. The Jacobs were not terrible people, but their children were monsters. Michael and Jada were five-year-old twins, and Kit usually babysat them on weekends while their parents worked. This weekend, they decided to spend the day on their yacht instead. They invited Kate along just to be polite, but she knew she would probably have to work. As soon as Kate got into the car, Michael and Jada began fighting over a bag of chips. It was worse on the yacht. They refused to sit, and, to sit still and to enjoy the scenery. Instead, they ran around haphazardly while their parents ignored them. Hey, if you look over there for at least 10 minutes, you will see dolphins. Kate lied while trying to get them to calm down. This worked for a while, but they eventually realized that she was joking and started chasing each other around again. Maybe if I just ignore them, they'll settle down and stop their nonsense, Kate thought. She took out her cell phone and began snapping sophisticated selfies. After taking about 50 of them, she heard a loud scream. Mommy! Daddy! Kate! Michael fell into the water. Kate ran over and saw Michael desperately gasping for air. She immediately jumped into the water and grabbed him. Hold on to me. You'll be fine. Mr. Jacob threw her a life boy, which she held on to until she was able to get back to the boat. She lifted Michael high enough for Mr. Jacob to grab him, then climbed back to the deck. How could you be so stupid? You were supposed to be watching them, Mrs. Jacob screamed. Kate could not believe her ears. You're fired, she continued. Mr. Jacob remained silent while he steered the boat back to shore. Suddenly, Kate remembered that her cell phone was in her pocket, and when she took it out, it was soaking wet and would not turn on. What a bad day. Kate had to find her own way home, and when she got there, she locked herself in her room and cried herself to sleep. Her life was absolutely awful. She had no friends, there's a typo, I needed to put an S there, no job, and a broken cell phone. The next morning, her mother shook her awake. Hey, Mrs. Jacobs called. She'd like you to go to their house for lunch today. She even asked me to come. These fancy rich people are inviting us for lunch, huh? Let me look for something nice to wear. Later, Kate and her mother took a taxi to the Jacobs' luxurious residence. The helper was waiting at the door. Please follow me to the dining room, she said. Kate stepped into the room and everyone began to cheer. She knew this was the greatest feeling she would ever experience. So this is the line that we had to include in the story. The Jacobs had invited their entire family and a few news reporters were waiting to speak to her. While I appreciate the attention, I'm really confused. What's going on? Kate asked. I'm so sorry about how I treated you yesterday. You saved my son's life, and I should have been more grateful. You are a hero, and indeed, the best babysitter in the universe. She then gave her a beautifully wrapped gift. Kate opened it and squealed for joy. It's the latest iPhone. Thank you so much. Mrs. Jacob also gave Kate a generous cash donation. Her luck did not stop there. Kate's story about saving Michael's life went viral. Now everyone at school wanted to be her friend, and hundreds of parents wanted her to babysit for them. So in 35 minutes, by following the plan, I was able to write this essay and this story, and I'm sure that you're able to do exactly the same thing. So, now it's your turn. This story is taken from the main 2017 paper. Try to write your plan and an essay in 45 minutes. Take 10 minutes to plan, 35 minutes to write, and see if you are able to get, if you are able to come up with something better compared to when you did not plan, if ever there was a time when you did not plan. So it goes, he looked, he wiped his eyes, he looked again at the screen and was sure he was not seeing right. No, he screamed. It is not true. Write a story which includes these sentences. I hope that this video was helpful and that you will continue to blossom into a brilliant writer. See you next time.